If you want me to give a title to Imam Ahmed, I don't know, subhanAllah. He was a copycat of the Prophet And this is what Imam Ahmed Muhammad is known for. Imam Ahmed uh, was a poor person financially, very poor. And he was born like that, lived like that, died as a poor person. Poor in finance, not poor in heart or soul. Imam Ahmed prayed every day 300 rak'ah. And that was when he was young. Imam Ahmed is said to have known, some narrations say, up to a million. That's mixed between Sahih Hadith and Daif Hadith. And he was able to know which ones from which. The trial in his time, he went through a trial more than any other Imam went through. He went through this trial of this issue called Khalq al-Qur'an, al -Khalq al -Quran, the creation of the Qur'an. This group of people came along and they said, the Qur'an is not the word of Allah, it is the creation of Allah. Because speech is created and speech was, came after Allah, therefore the Qur'an is speech and it is created like you and me. It is not the words of Allah. Which means that it can, it, it, it can be, it can err, it can make mistakes because every creation of Allah is fallible. Fallible, it makes mistakes, it's not perfect. So therefore they're implying the words of Allah are not perfect. He made up this thing and he came to the Khalifa al mamun and he convinced him about the khalq of the Qur'an. At first, al Khalifa al mamun did not impose it on people. He said, I believe in this, but he didn't impose it. But then this man came back to him and said to him, I can't recall his name, but he said to him, no, you have to tell the people this is part of Aqeedah and I have to agree on it. And if they don't agree, it is disbelief. So then after three years, al mamun stood up on this rampage. He said, everybody must accept it. The Khalifa ordered that they be put in chains and brought as prisoners. On his way, he made a dua. He said, Oh Allah, Allahumma la tajma'ni bil ma'moon. Oh Allah, do not let me meet ma'moon. The second day, they came back and they said, you have to be returned. Why? He said, your sentence has been suspended. The Khalifa died. Wallahi, this is true. The Khalifa got sick and he died. But before that, Al-Mu'tasim, his brother, took over. Imam Ahmad was brought into chains before the Khalifa. At first, Al-Mu'tasim tried to yield. He said, Ya yeah, Imam, please, you are a respected person. I'll let you go. Say what they are saying. Ya yeah, Imam, please. Ya yeah, Imam, please. And the Imam Ahmad said to Khalifa, he said, Ya yeah, Khalifa, Ya yeah, Amir al muminin So he acknowledged his Imara. said to him, give me one evidence from the Qur'an that the Qur'an is created. I cannot find any evidence. Give me evidence and I'll accept. Nothing personal. Al-Mu'tasim couldn't find anything. Then he said, take him to the prison. He went. Second day he came out. And this time, Ahmad ibn Abi Du'ad and his scholars are around there. He said, I have evidence from the Qur'an that the Qur'an is created. He said, which one? He said, Allah says, we have sent this Qur'an down in the Arabic language. Imam Ahmad looked at him and said, Allah did not say, we have created the Qur'an in the Arabic language. He said, we have sent down the Qur'an in Arabic language. This does not mean it is created. They put him back in the prison. Third day, fourth day, fifth day. Imam Atasim is trying to yield. Please, I'll let you go with your family. Just say it and I'll let you go. Imam Ahmad determined, I will not say it. This is deen. It's not my religion. It's the religion of Allah. On his way, I didn't mention when he was going through the deserts. On his way. Subhanallah, it was not an alim. It was not a scholar or a sheikh or a judge who came to him to give him strength. You know who came to him? A simple Bedouin who hardly knows anything, even reading or writing. He came up to him and he said, Ya Imam, I hear that you have been summoned to say that the Quran is created. Ya Imam, stand strong. Never say these words. A Bedouin from the desert. When he reached Baghdad, they began. On the fifth or sixth day, the whip was brought out. First day, second day, whips after whips. The doctor says, I saw his back. There were like caves inside his back. Then they saw him after a few days of whipping. And this is in history. Believe it or not, Allahu A'lam. They saw him say some words. They couldn't understand it. But one of the writers says, later on, I understood what he was saying. He was saying, Oh Allah, do not let my aura show. His pants were slipping off. All this mattered not to him except that his aura would show. The person who's writing says, Wallahi, I saw. 
his pants by themselves somehow make their way up and they were tight on his body and never fell. Believe it or not. One man came to him and they felt sorry for him. And he said to him, Ya Imam, just get yourself out of this. We can't bear seeing you like this. He looked at him and he said, Are you a student of knowledge? He said, Yes. He said, Look outside the window of this small door of this prison. He looked outside and he said, Mada tara? What do you see? He said, I see people I cannot count in numbers. Thousands and thousands of people waiting outside. You could see the open. They are carrying pencil, uh, they are carrying pens, feathers of pens and writing material that they write on. He said to them, they are students of knowledge. They are waiting for what I have to say. They're going to write what I have to say. And for the generations to come in the future, this is what the knowledge will be. I am the last standing on this. I must stand firm. They are waiting for my word and they're going to take it.